Hey everyone, Greta here. Today we are going to talk about from a teddy bear going up into a tripod headstand why sometimes it's so hard to do. I've had quite a lot of people telling me the same thing, you know, um, on good days I can go from teddy bear to tripod but then that requires like a lot of effort but most of times I can't really go up or maybe I can just straighten one leg but not all the way up. Well guess what, it's not just pure luck. <laughs> There's actually um, a little bit of technical aspect involved. Before we do anything, we need to understand how to balance in an inversion. So for all inversions, yes, in order to fully balance, shoulder stand, not. <laughs> um, wait, let me just rephrase. For um, handstand, pincha, headstand, and tripod, okay, for the body to stay balanced upside down, your hips need to be above the shoulders, okay? And that's the reason why. So from a teddy bear, a lot of people find teddy bear is super accessible simply because you're placing your kneecaps on the triceps um, and that feels very safe. But then the moment when you want to lift your legs up into a full tripod, that's where the problem or that's where the challenge comes in. What you want to do in a teddy bear if you want to go up into a headstand like to, to a full straight tripod, be it both legs up at the same time or one leg up at a time, is the placement of your knees. As said earlier on, in order to find the balance, in order to balance in an inversion, hips need to be above the shoulders. So in a teddy bear, you need to set up as close to that as possible. So when you lift your legs up, it requires a lot less effort and more accuracy. Of course, in order to do that, your hip flexors need to be working or cooperating, not working. They need to be cooperating. So um, first of all, you can always check if you can do this kind of uh, child pose. So if you can do this kind of child pose with the belly fully uh, touching the thighs, then mobility wise, yes, you can. But then this is easier because again, you're using your body weight to come down. So it doesn't require too much any effort or, or much effort. But when you're going upside down, then these guys need to really do the work. So before we actually go up into the tripod headstand, what you can do is, you know, do things like this, maybe do both poses where your thighs and your belly are touching together, closer together, or even when you're doing this kind of abdominal work, you want to feel the thighs really coming in close to the body and not too far away. If it's too far away, then it will be very challenging for you to actually do the inversion. So after you pass that, when you do the tripod, of course you need to warm up properly with the shoulders and all that stuff, right? So I'm assuming that you've done all that. Um, when you do the teddy bear, instead of just placing your knees randomly on the arm, if you place them randomly, chances are you place them really close to the elbows. You need to go up close to the armpit, aiming for the armpit. So for this one, when you're aiming your knees right into the armpit, shoulders need to be firm. Don't waggle, don't move around. All right, that's your base. So from here, place your head down to the floor. And now what I do is I usually do, I bring the leg out and up like that instead of just pulling it in like so, uh, just to create a bit more, more room for my knee to go up as close to the armpit as possible, shoulders away from the ears and the other one the same. From up, so as you can see here, my hips are relatively uh, straight up above my shoulders. So once I am here, when I want to lift up, I need to feel the arms pushing the floor away, belly hugging in, and the legs will go up a lot easier. So this is both legs up at the same time. And if I want to go one leg straight, I just bring one leg all the way up straight, and the straight leg would pull my bottom leg to go up as well. So that was the good example. So when you look at it, you'll be like, yeah, I mean, that, that looks very natural and easy. So what were you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. I'll be showing you right now. 
is if you're not having too much awareness on where to place the knees and because putting your knees close to the armpits require a lot of stability and strength in the shoulders so a lot of people tend to just go here right so here as you can see my hips are way uh, in front of my hips so if I want to go all the way up I need to move the hips above my shoulders in order for my legs to go up so if it's me doing it I need to suck my belly in and push as you can see right because it requires a lot more effort and by placing the knees that close to the elbows again it's very easy to feel unstable okay because the elbows are the furthest joint away from the shoulders shoulders need to be stable if you have too much weight on the furthest part away from the base then it's just gonna wiggle 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 and it's gonna cause a lot of uh, you know uh, instability in the shoulders as well as you can see both legs up together requires a lot of effort but if you don't have that strength yet chances are you will, will not be able to lift you'll be like stuck here you'll be like I can't lift up if you're trying to lift one leg up again a lot of times it's hard to go up like that because this requires a lot of hip flexor mobility as well so sometimes and a lot of times people just go huh, like that and they'll drag it down the next time when you do a teddy bear and you want to go all the way up into a tripod headstand check the basics check the alignment check the base to make sure that you have everything set up the way that they should be and even if you're like, you know what, I'm not there yet. I just want to, you know, feel a bit more stable in my teddy bear. It doesn't hurt to use, to be more conscious of where to put what. Because you never know. One day you might be like, I want to go all the way up. Even if that day never comes, it just, you know, creates more mindful movement and not just you know just kind of placing your knees on the arm and just kind of balance on the head and done that's just me okay so that's it hope you like it uh you know click on that like button share and subscribe to my channel and if you want to practice with me in person and uh, maybe online dm me here ig and facebook and i'll get back to you asap take it easy